never really gotten involved in any primaries. I'm very supportive of Senator Alexander, but I don't know that he has any kind of race to be to not to be supportive of or not to be supportive of. But I'm very supportive of Senator Alexander. I think that he's an important voice in the Republican caucus. I think that his ideas and expertise on education are a great addition to us. And also, I think his ability to, when the federal government overreaches, like in the fishing, uh, the freedom of the fish movement, uh, not only did he jump in, he actually got something done. And really, very few people up there could have gotten that done. And I, I mean that with the utmost sincerity. Within a month, he got legislation passed to tell a bunch of busybody bureaucrats in Washington they can't tell us where to fish in Kentucky and Tennessee. And this was after the bureaucrats resisted and resisted and resisted, and the general who's the head of the Corps basically told Senator Alexander he was going to continue to put the barriers in front of the dams. And with my help, Senator McConnell, Senator Alexander, and Senator Corker, both governors of those states, who resisted this, but really Senator Alexander was instrumental in getting it passed. Well, let me put the motion this way. I mean, do you endorse this 2014 uh, candidacy in the Republican primary for U.S. Senate? Well, like I said, we haven't gotten involved in any races, and to my knowledge, he doesn't have a race, so it's really sort of a moot question. But I'm very supportive of Senator Alexander, and uh, we'll cross that bridge if and when he gets an opponent or doesn't get an opponent. I got you.